Hey guys, um, this video is one of the tougher ones I have to make. Um, you know, I've made tough videos in the past before, but this is another one of them, honestly. And as you can see in the title, that involves 2017, uh, next year. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to tell you guys that in most likely May of next year, I'm going to be moving, and so are my parents. Um, we're, I'll tell you right now, we're going to be moving to Connecticut. Uh, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to say exactly where right now, but um, somewhere within that state. And um, the, the reason why we're doing that is because is because my dad is retiring next year. Um, after many years of hard work in the medical field, he is retiring next year. And the reason why we're going there is because that's where my brother, sister-in-law, and my two nieces live. And of course, they want to live close by to them, which is certainly understandable. Um, but, and... I'll be honest here with you guys. I've known that this was going to happen for a while, okay? Um, and fa as a matter of fact, my parents have been, like, kind of looking at houses here and there since late, late 2014, I would say. I think it was around there, or, or early 2015, more of those times. And, um, around August or September, uh, I, I think September of last year, okay, they found a property that they, that they wanted to build on, that they liked, and since then, the new house was being built, and... As of earlier this year, um, maybe August or September, uh, it was finished. And my parents closed on the house in October of this year. And I've been to it, you know, a few times with my mom, here and there. In fact, I had been to it in earlier, when there's just studs and plywood inside, and things like that. Uh... The reason why I didn't really tell you guys about it in the earlier is because I just didn't want to talk about it, you know. It was kind of making me upset and, you know, things like that, even though I know that's what the future held. Um, and you might be wondering, like, why am I upset? Why do I feel so distraught about this? It's not that the house is bad or anything. It's quite the opposite, actually. But the house I'm in right now, and the whole area around me, okay, like of all of, of this area of Long Island and things like that. I've lived here since I was two, and that was in 1990. And right now I'm 28. So, for 26 years, I've lived here, in this house, and just familiar with this area around me. Granted, there was a there was, granted for a few years in the fall. From the fall to the spring, I was away for college in Pennsylvania and things like that. But, you know, I, I've i been here for this for this long. Um, it really... When, my, when I found out my parents were going to build this house, and or have it built, rather... And when I learned about the closing date, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I started crying. And the reason being, you, may, you guys may wonder why am I getting so upset, is because, you know, this area I'm currently at, and this house, the area around me, it's home. And... Sorry. And, uh... This is where I grew up, you know? I've been, Like I said, I've been here since I was two. Sorry, you gotta see my eyes tearing up. <laughs> like I said, I've been here since I was two. This, this is where I grew up. This has been my room... Ever since we've been here. You know, it's gone through a lot of changes ever since I was a kid. New furniture, got rid of the crib, bed obviously, things like that. And it just, I had a really good childhood too, you know, I, I can only speak for myself when I say that, I can't speak for everyone when I say that, but 
I had a really good childhood, and that's probably why it, it makes this so much harder. Just, when you're here for this long, as long as I have, it really becomes a part of you in a way. You know what I'm saying? You, um, it's not just a house, it's a home. And a lot of you are probably saying, I should be happy that I've been here for as long as I have, because that doesn't happen to a lot of people. And you're right, I am certainly happy, but, you know... It only makes it that much harder when um, when you leave it. And like I said, just I knew this was going to happen for a while, but I, I, I just was not ready to talk about it. And, you know, by this point, I feel like I have to. You know, I think a lot of times... I've walked around the house kind of remembering all the th all the things I did as a kid. And, uh, like, I, I, we used to throw the f baseball around with my dad on the front yard. And uh, you never saw this in any videos. It was taken down a long time ago. But by the air conditioners, uh, we had one of the trees, a treehouse built for back in the 90s. And, you know, like... I walk around and I just feel like it's going to be sad not being here anymore. And, like, one of the things I really, I do a lot is I kind of walk around things I remember as a kid. Like, uh, take the air conditioners, for example. Uh, a lot of you don't know this, but when I was a kid, okay, as you know, our air conditioners are in front of a window so you can see them from inside the house. Uh... When I was a kid, okay, um, I would stand by the window when one of them would come on and just watch the fan go. And as nerdy as that sounds, that's how my parents knew I was into machinery a lot because of stuff like that. I definitely got that from my grandfather on my dad's side. It really, you know, it really um, came from him the most, absolutely. I'm just, I'm just trying to cope with everything. Like I said, many times I walk around the house, and it's like, I, I just look and I'm like, you know, what's going to happen in the future? It, it's so hard for me to, to accept the fact that sometime next year, we're not going to be living here anymore. And... You can see it. It's really tough for me. Like I said, there are just so many memories associated with this house and much many parts of Long Island in this neighborhood that I've just really grown to get to know over the years and really call it home. You know, I... Like, I drive when I drive to the bowling center for my league, when I... When I um, when I uh, go to go to eat somewhere, go drive down Route One Ten. Uh, it, it, it I sometimes look around and I'm like, it feels so temporary now. I've. One of the things I wonder about in the future when this happens is I think about this house, you know, like what's going to happen to it? Are people going to like the way it looks? Are um, are they going to completely change it where I won't recognize it anymore? And another thing I think about is like, you know, what's going to happen to the pool? I'm sure it'll still be there, but it's like, you know, is it going to be taken care of to the degree that... I took care of it, because I took really damn good care of the pool, if I may say. And my parents, for like the last 15 years or so, I've been taking care of the pool. And my parents never ask me to do it. I just do it on my own time. I do it by choice, because 
I know it helps them out, which I like doing, and they're very appreciative of it, absolutely. But I had fun with it. Whether it be backwashing the filter, cleaning the pump basket, cleaning out the Polaris bag every now and then, they never asked me to do it. I did it by myself because I enjoyed it. And this is one of the things I think about, you know. What will the pool be taken care of the way I took care of it? I'm sure it won't be identical. I can't do anything about that. But, you know, I'm just hoping, like, is the pool equipment going to be going to be taken care of as well as I took care of it, you know? Is it... Are they, are they really going to do what they can to make sure that everything's up and running correctly? And are the people going to be as handy as I am? Again, maybe they are. I don't know. But, you know, it's just things that you wonder. So, I've been to the new house many times now. Um, I've gone there with my mom the last few weeks on my days off from work to, um, you know, help bring some stuff in, like, you know, towels, some new dishes, new glasses, things like that. And I'd be lying if I said the new house doesn't feel like it has the possibility to feel like a home. It definitely does. There's no denying that. But again, this is where I've been since I was two. And, you know, it's rare for someone to live in the same house from childhood to late adulthood. It does happen, but it's not common. And I understand it, but I understand that. But again, when you have a good childhood and you live here for as long as you have, moving from it just makes it that much harder. It really does. So, I'm not going to make videos of, of um, you know, progress of going to the new house, because that's just going to make me even sadder, honestly. Honestly, who knows what kind of videos happen in the future regarding that. I, I really don't know. I, it, it's, it's in the air as far as I know right now, if I said that correctly. But, you know, I, t I talked to... I've talked to friends about it, both in person and online. I've talked to Jay about it. You know, um, I told Jay, I think, in October. I wanted to tell him sooner, but again, I just... It was just hard for me to talk about. And... That's going to be one of the biggest things, too, is that... When I do move to Connecticut... I won't be able to see my friends here as often as I do now. The good news is that um, I'm going to be 50 or 60-something miles from Bridgeport, which is where the ferry from Long Island to Connecticut and vice versa is. So if ever I have time off or a few days and I have time, I could come down to visit without a problem. So, But not as often as I do now, obviously. So I'm happy in that regard that I'm not moving to some place like, you know, I don't know, let's say California or Washington State, you know, all the way on the other side of the United States. But just the fact that I'm not going to be able to see those friends as much, it's sad. You know, it really is. And, you know, 2014 especially really marked a milestone for me um and and that's because like you know jay i met you and you're you're like one of the first people i ever met that's really into machinery like i am which was you know a huge thing for me and you know i met other friends with that attached you know as time went on in that year um And, you know, just, I drive around here, and I, I, I just remember so many things from when I was a kid. And that's kind of what makes it harder. And, um... Everyone tells me... Sorry about that. Everyone does tell me that, um... You know, I'll adjust to Connecticut, I'll make new friends, and they're right, I most likely will. But that adjustment takes time, especially when you leave a place that you've been at 
for as long as I have. And with so many positive memories attached to it, again, it makes it that much harder. Um, because like I said, I've made so many YouTube videos around here, and a few over at Jay's place. It's just hard to, I don't know if let it, letting it go is the right term, but just not it being a part of you anymore. And, you know, Jay, if you're watching, Jay, I'm sure you're watching this video, Jay, but, you know, there's something I gotta tell you. You're pretty much the reason why my summer of 2014 was so was so great because the summers prior um, from 2011 to 2013, I was doing basically nothing. I was I was barely going out anywhere. I started the bowling league in fall of 2012, so I was going out for that. But that was only every Wednesday, and then you know as soon as we met up in 2013, and then every, all the months following after all right guys uh, sorry for that little edit there um just i needed to do, do some stuff with my mom there for a minute um so like i was saying you know jay when, when we met up in, in 2013 october of 2013 to be a little bit more precise and ever since after that you know 2014 like i was going out again i was doing stuff i was able to get out of the house to find something fun to do you know it really really holds a big memory summer of 2014 for that reason you know and uh like i said it was so much fun because you like i said you were really into machinery like i was and i could say all this stuff about machinery and you wouldn't look at me at me like this is a guy on drugs or something <laughs> you know what i'm saying you really um you really enjoyed what i had to say and even the times after that I went to your place, it, it, it's been absolutely wonderful. I've loved it. So I just, I had to put that out there. So in regards to, to, to the new house, guys. There's a lot of things I do like about the house. <clears throat> um, I'll, I mean, now that you guys know about it, I'll make videos on it when time permits. Um... There is one quite sad thing I have to say, though. And some of you probably know where this is going, but you'll find out in a, in a moment anyway. And that is... The 1990 Whirlpool machines are not coming with us. I tried so hard to get that to happen, but it I just couldn't. What I can tell you is... The new house has those, um, those speed queens with the electronic controls, like Spats Bear and Harley Badger have, if you've seen their videos before. Um, the only difference is the ones we have are going to be the top of the line models. So you'll see videos on those, but those 1990 Whirlpools, I'm just really upset they're not going to come with us because, aside from, hold on a second. Okay, um, aside from the reliability and things like that, you know, they're like a part of the house. We've had them since 1990, and all the sounds associated with them, just like the reliability, all the temperature options you have, it's going to be really hard to let them go. And, you know, the, the Speed Queens are nice machines, I've used them before in the house, so I know they work well, but, you know, there's going to be, the Whirlpool Direct Drive is going to be my favorite washing machine ever. I don't think any machine's ever going to be able to top that in my preferences. And again, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with them. Maybe the, maybe the new people are going to keep them, who knows, but maybe they're not. I don't know. There is something I may try to plan um, in regards to that, but it's too uncertain right now, so I'm not even going to say what it is. But we'll see what happens as time goes on. So that's really going to be tough because, you know, those those washers are vintage. Washer, those, the washer and dryer are vintage, okay? They're 26 years old, and they still work wonderfully. And, you know, 
the reason why those the reason why those machines are so special too is because those are the machines that started my really high uh really or really no uh like really popular watched videos on YouTube. Now, granted, the 2010 machines that were in my videos of where my brother used to live, um, those are the ones that got the highest views, like a 300-something thousand views that the one video has. But that's those are the machines that started my laundry machine videos here on YouTube. And to not have those in the future is going to be really hard. I'll have the Speed Queens to make videos on, but like I said, the Whirlpool Direct Drive Washer will just always be my favorite. There's just so many things about it that make it really stand out compared to other machines. And in fact, I just used them today. I have a pile of uh, clean laundry behind my chair that I got to put away when I finish making this video. So, like I said, there are some things about the new house I like, and I don't want to spoil them. When I make videos on it, when I feel like it, I'll show them to you. And, uh... I've been doing everything I can to spend as much enjoyable time here as I can. I've gone to Jay's as much as I can. I've saw my friends a lot. Um, I'm still bowling in the league, of course, which is really happy, which, which is really happy, which is really good. You know what I'm saying? And... But when that day comes that I go to the new house to live there, I make it very teary-eyed like I'm starting to do again right now. Because like I said, so many positive memories attached with this house and in this neighborhood, especially this neighborhood, that it just makes it that much harder for it to not be your home in the future. It's it's really going to be a huge change for me. Because like I said, obviously, before I was two years old, I lived somewhere else. But, you know, I don't remember anything about that time. So, this is really what started it all. You know, I'm sure a lot of you watching this video have moved to new places before, so it's kind of, you're kind of in the same boat that I am. So, like, you know, we just had our last Thanksgiving here, or this will be our last Christmas here. You know, like, what's going to happen afterwards? Just how different is it going to be? Again, like, I, I look at this room, and this is my childhood room. Not just the house, this is my childhood room. Since I was two years old, I've slept in the same room. I really hope that any readjustment that I'm going to have after this just goes as well as it can and hopefully I'll have enough positive experiences in Connecticut that when I'm at the new place and that becomes the new really becomes the new home I can like wake up in the morning and, and be like this is my home I'm happy let's start my day you know something along those lines <laughs> I'll give you some details about the new house just to start, uh, minor details. Um, the neighborhood's more hilly, obviously, than this one is here, because Connecticut has a lot more hills than Long Island, obviously. Long Island's very flat. Um, there's not going to be a pool in this new house, but there will be a cabana, and there'll be a hot tub, so it's something, you know what I mean? I'm definitely going to miss taking care of the pool. I really, I honestly really enjoy doing that. In, to be completely honest with you, probably the hardest part of maintaining that pool was getting the rainwater off the solar cover in the summer. Everything else I had to do for the pool, piece of cake. Very simple.
again, like, you know, just what... What's going to happen around here when the house isn't ours anymore? Again, who knows? Maybe not much will happen. Maybe a lot will happen. Like I said, it has a fairly new roof, new siding, a lot of new stuff. So, maybe it won't be so bad. Who knows? And again, some of you may be saying, you know, like, well, you'll be in a different house. You really, you really shouldn't worry about it. And to be honest, a lot. Of, to be honest, you're probably mostly right. But again, when you're here for as long as I have, as long as I have been, and you've been so involved with like you know fixing things and things like that, you don't know. And uh, you know the, the the future could hold whatever. I guess it's kind of like you know some of the traffic light sets I've seen over the road. You know, they've been there for so many years, and then just to see them get replaced is kind of strange. But to be fair, with shortly after their replacement, it becomes like, okay, th that's what they are now. It's not, not as significant as you thought it would be. I mean, a light set is different from a house, but, you know, it could follow the same principle. Who knows? So, like I said, guys, now that you guys know about this house... And what's going on. I'll make some videos on it when the time comes. Um, I'll try to cover as much as I can. I may do one whole video. Or maybe I'll do separate parts. Because it'll probably be a long video otherwise. But we'll see where it goes from here. Now. If you guys want to give me some advice. About moving to a new location. Um, if you want to type it out in the comments below, that's fine. Or if you maybe want to make a, your own video talking about it to me, I'd be okay with that. Um, but again, that's completely your call. You know, up to you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, but, you know, maybe, or t like I said, if you don't want to make a video, maybe type a comment. Um, if you want, if, if you want for some advice. Again, both of those are completely your choice. You know, if you don't want to, hey, no harm. No harm done. I probably have more details to add to this video, but you get where I've been going with this, okay? I know it's a long, been a long video, um, but if you've sat through the whole video and watched it, I certainly do appreciate it. And, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what the future holds with all this. Will I make any future videos on this? Who knows? Maybe I will. You know, it all depends on what happens. So, guys, um... For those of you who watched this video to now, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and, you know, um, hope the video was was somewhat you know, kind of sad, I know, but enjoyable. But that's what's been going on with me, so you now, some, you now know some more about me. Maybe I'll make update videos on how I feel about this whole thing, you know, how I feel about it, and I don't know. But again, that, that's questionable. I don't, I'm not going to guarantee it, so... At some point, you'll see videos of the new house and some of the new stuff, and you'll see what what the future holds, as they say, okay? Anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I could think of. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you have, and um, hope you enjoy my videos as always. So, like the usual saying goes, guys, thank you very much for watching, and take care.